Good morning, June 25th today. Um, Job chapter 5 through 7 and then Acts 8 today. Um, Ezra, as um, we hear in, 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 in Job, really, really, uh, uh, really coming at Job pretty hard, um, kind of discrediting him, his, um, his, uh, his, his um, complaining um, and talking about, you know, dying and, and, and it would have been better off. Um, here he is, he's, he's, he's throwing all kinds of things that uh, really for him to doubt God. Um, and, and what we're seeing at the very, uh, very end of the scriptures today is, is, is Job's eyes kind of opening up again and, and, and his thoughts really going to God and, 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 and changing his, his, his thinking and his, his way of doing things. Um, to me, that's just a, a, an act of, of God, you know, his, his, his grace and his mercy, um, even by allowing Satan to, to do that. Um, you know, Job is a, is a great example of, of going through hard times. And, and yes, he was looking down and, and, and feeling bad about it. But, um, you know, his, his thoughts were definitely to God at all times. Um, and in Acts 8, you know, we have uh, um, Paul's conversion here. Um, this is one of the, the greatest texts of seeing someone who was really probably the worst of, of, of the worst and, 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 and really God getting a hold of him um, and literally knocking him off his, his donkey and, 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 and blinding him. Um, and, and for Paul uh, or Saul uh, at, this, at this time, his name's Saul, um, you know, later on God changes his name to Paul and we'll, we'll see uh, how that goes later, later down the road. But, but here, you know, he's... Uh, he, we have to remember Saul... He, he is a believer of God. He thinks he's doing God's work and by going against the Christians um, because he, he was thinking just like the Jewish people were, you know, these people were, um, you know, um, blasphemous. They were going against God. They were, you know, you know, by them thinking certain ways and doing certain things that, uh, you know, they were, they were against God. And, and he thought he was actually doing, you know, God's work. But here, really, the Holy Spirit gets a hold of him and, and changes his, his, his thinking and his mind. Uh, he realizes that God is, is in the middle of all this and, 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 and Jesus is, 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 is talking to him at this point, telling him what he needs to go do. And, uh, um, you know, and, and, and as, as the text goes on, you know, it says people, people saw this and witnessed it. And, and, and what happened? The church grew. And we're not talking, you know, the four walls churches here. Again, we're talking the church in general. You know, people were coming to a faith in Jesus Christ, uh, and again, by examples of, of, of Saul and, and what was going on in his life. But uh, uh, one of the great ones is, is Peter, you know, going and, 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 and rising uh, Lydia uh, from the dead, you know, with, the, with, the, with what? The power of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, God, God, God laid it on, you know, the power in his hands at Pentecost, and, and Peter was out there doing it. Um, and for me, you know, I go back to, you know, again, when Peter was doubting and, and when he was kind of um, kind of a loose cannon for a while there, um, you know, how, how that changed and, and how he, he really came to an understanding of who Jesus is and, and what Peter's job was, and he had no fear about it. So um, some really good texts here today, you know, all the way from, um, you know, dealing with crisis in our lives to, you know, God releasing somebody out of, out, out of their bondages, you know, through Paul to the promise of the resurrection uh, that we have through the power of Christ. So, um, you know, encourage you just to, to, to read through this really good today, um, you know, go over it, uh, see, see again where, where scriptures reaching you today. And, and, and let me know if something jumps out at you. Job's a, a pretty deep text, you know, if you read it. And I'm just, I'm just hitting the uh, very, very surface of this, um, just with, with the time frames and everything. But, uh, you know, I encourage you to sit and study the book of Job even more and look at it and dwell on it. And, 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 and in some cases, even putting yourself in those situations. Um, because, again, we've all been at, in certain ones, maybe not as bad as Job, uh, but um, there's, there's different things that we deal with. 
and also our conversion. You know, do you remember back when, when Jesus first got a hold of you? And some of us, it's really hard because, you know, you were born in the church. You were, you were raised in the church. Um, and again, uh, you know, these, these boxes you see laying around, these are a are, are few of the leftovers. We're going to get out to the, some of the other kids in the community uh, from, from our VBS. We had a great week of VBS. Uh, three days, we had a total of like 70, 72 kids that came through all together. Uh, about an average of 50 each day. So have a great day today, and I will see you in the morning.